What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out these WeatherTech mud flaps. Now we're gonna be putting them on a 2022 Ram 2500. Let's check them out. Taking a closer look at the mud flap here, it's gonna be great for keeping that gravel or dirt or whatever your tires are kicking up from hitting the bottom of your truck and ruining that. It goes on here really easy. You see it's custom fit to fit your vehicle. It goes on over the trim here. So it really looks good. It looks factory like it's supposed to be there. It's also sturdy molded plastic. You see it's not just a flimsy flap that goes back and forth in the wind. So you can hold up to bigger rocks and dirt. Now we talk about what they are and what they do. They're not too bad to install. It's just a couple screws. Follow and see how I did it. We're gonna start up with the front mud flap on the driver's side. Now they're all marked. So you just look here. It's gonna have LH for left hand. That's gonna be the driver's side. All we have to do is remove these two hex head bolts. So I got my ratchet here. I'm gonna loosen those up and we're just pulling the bolts out so don't remove the plastic piece behind. We got one here at the bottom. There's gonna be one a little further up top. We'll take both of those out. With those out of the way, we can put our new mud flap in place. You see it already has a section that's a cutout that's gonna go around this plastic piece and clip in. I'm gonna set in place right there. If you come along to the back side, you can see how it fits the groove perfectly. Right there, there's also a clip on the underside that you wanna clip on the fascia. So I'm gonna push from the inside out to get this tab to go up and around this portion as we slide it up. I suggest you could use a screwdriver if you want to pry it out a little bit more. But you don't want to pry it too much so it doesn't grab on there. There we go. Slid up into place. Then we'll replace our hex head screws. Now once we got both of these tightened down, we do the same thing on the passenger side. Overall, like I said, not too bad to get installed. You just had to remove the hex head screws, replace this, it fit right over the existing trim here. So that's pretty easy. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.